We saw in an earlier video that Russian has three essential spelling rules involving eight letters, and that one way to remember them is to remember the story of Jacques the Cajun chef, a garlicky, crispy, hot shrimp with fresh chips was chosen by Jacques for the Tsar. In this video, we'll look at the seven-letter rule. It's pretty straightforward. After these seven letters, the first seven of the eight, we will never write the letter E. Instead, we'll write E. This is not just a casual observation. It's really important for beginners to know this rule because a lot of the most common endings we'll add to nouns and adjectives may begin with E. For example, you'll learn that you can add E to make the plural of most masculine and feminine nouns with hard stems. Chimadan, chimadanli. Komnata, komnati. That's fine when the stem of the noun ends in N or te like these. But what if the noun stem ends in one of these seven letters? Then we can't spell the ending with e. Instead, we'll use e. Grandash, grandashri. Vrach, vrachi. Kniga, knigi. Sabaka, sabaki. All spelled with e. And when you learn basic adjective endings, you'll also notice that there may be more than one way to spell them, and this is often because of the seven-letter spelling rule. For example, most adjectives before a masculine nominative singular noun have the ending e, novi dom. But if the stem of the adjective ends in any of these seven letters, then we'll use the spellings e ikratke, haroshi dom, ruski dom. Now, if you're a beginner, I don't want to scare you with this table. There's no need to learn all these adjective endings at once. But do notice how many endings you'll be learning where the seven-letter rule will help you spell things correctly. Summing up. Be sure you know the eight letters of the three spelling rules. And a silly mnemonic device like the story of Jacques the Cajun Chef may be helpful. The seven-letter rule involves the first seven of these letters. After these seven letters, never write E. Instead, write E. There will be many times when an ending you need would normally start with E, and this spelling rule will remind you to use E instead. Getting this rule down now in the beginning of your journey with Russian will help you avoid needless spelling mistakes. So this spelling rule, like the others, is not some optional detail that you can come back to later. It's an essential part of laying a firm foundation for your Russian.